Yeah. Yes. Here we go. Hello. Uh, I'm Ezekiel. The is Ben. Uh, uh, and, and we are here to demonstrate yeah, Flotonic. So, let's get right to it. The first part of Flotonic is going to be learning about the 13 points. The 13 points are pretty important. Like this, and then we can over here. So, the first part is the 13 D points. Over 13 here, points right. are very important for right. the entire dance. So, when you're doing the entire dance, it's important to realize and be aware and mindful of your body at all points, at all times. Um, 13 points, number four, the first one is the center of gravity, which is the center of your feet. You have to imagine that your feet is on a balance line. So, you're going to stand like shoulder width apart. Okay? And your perineum, which is the line between your genitals and your anus right here, is going to point towards the ground. It's not going to be pointing backwards or forwards. It's going to be pointing towards the ground. So you're going to bend your, your knees a little bit. Your knees are never going to be locked. It's very important. All right. Your tantien, which is this area, remember it's for suction and condensing. So whenever you're, it's, it's right at your pelvic bone. So whenever you're suctioning in or bringing in motions, remember the energy is going to travel down to this lower part, the lower of, of the sun, which is, which is the pelvic area. Um, the fourth area is the Ningmen. Ningmen is this area right here, the, the back. So it's for projection and expansion. So when you're moving forward, realize that this is going to open up and you're going, to, you're going to be moving, when you're doing forward motions, that is going to give a, a projection and expansion sort of movement. Okay, so we have, the, what is this called? Perineum. Uh, that's a perineum. That's a perineum. Uh, that is called a tatian. Tatian. And it's called? The back. Yes, but also the ming men. The ming men, right. Okay. The fifth point, your crown is going to be suspended. So what is the suspension here? So you're not going to suck it in. You're not going to just let it here. It's sort of like hanging from a wire. Exactly. So you're going to keep it like this. That's right. And you're sort of like your head is like this way, but you're going to just tilt up your 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 um, your, your, your your head just a little bit so that this imagine a string that's coming straight from the top of your head, just holding it up. Exactly. Okay. Your. Uh, your sternum is going to be uh, suction uh, and condensed towards your sternum. Yeah, they want to compare You just know that they're both bound. Right? So your sternum, imagine that suction and condensed. So it's going to be able to go out. The quad, which is the center of the jip points, jip, the hip joints are going to be right here. So when you're turning in, turning in this way. So you're not going to be moving so your how, knee how is it and bending it this way, but rather the, the joints that are coming right here. This, that's called yeah. a quad. So this is the quad. Okay. Your, uh, number eight is dropping your shoulders over the hips. So your shoulders are dropping a little bit over your hips. Um, and the tucking of the ribs. So you're going to tuck your ribs in. Ten, nine solid and one empty on the feet. So, keep your uh, feet right a little, little apart, further apart, left, three, but not too wide, so that it just, just falls within the line of your, of your shoulders. The nine solid and right, the means that all of your toes and the heel of your foot and the bottom of your foot are going to be on the ground. Okay? Some of the times during the stance, they're going to lift upwards. That's okay. But the one point that's off is the inner middle, no middle, middle part. Okay. Okay. Well, not <laughs> which is good. Um, your elbows are going to be wrapping down. So your elbows are not going to be up, but rather, rather here. Like, okay. okay. Um, your oh, knees are pointing yeah. towards yeah. the big toes. Yeah. That's number 12. So instead of that, 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 your, that, your that, toes that, pointing inwards or outwards, they're going to be just straight ahead. Yeah. Okay. So okay. On the board. Yeah. Uh, 13 is the balance of the yin yang. So, what does the balance mean? It means that you're not going to be leaning, to leaning too to much forward and you're not going to be leaning, leaning too much back. Oh, like, yeah, look it over. So, we're just going to keep it nice and steady. So, those are the 13 points. So, make sure you never totally straighten your legs or totally bend your legs. When you look down, you should be able to see your, just barely be able to see your toes. Okay? 
the first step after that is the like, like, For the shuffle, you're going to, uh, if there's two individuals in this dance, uh, the attacker and defender. So we're going to switch, but uh, just for now, you're going to be the defender, I'll be the attacker. You're going to mirror whoever's, whoever's dancing with you, whoever's uh, oh, really? in the game yeah, of, this, so, of this dance. Okay, okay? So if I pick my foot up and move it down like this, this is towards the beat. So you're picking up and moving it down to the beat. And we're shifting our center of gravity. Yes, but you're still trying to maintain it, not, not all the way to the left. But you're trying to keep it centered as much as possible. I'm mirroring. You're mirroring me. Actually, actually you're, you're opposing it, so it would be this way. This is what we call that mirroring. It's sort of like doing the opposite of me. There you go. Uh, so you're doing the opposite of me, um, and this is to the music. So we're going to play a little bit of the music, and you're just going to feel all of how that feels. And this is the shuffle. Yes, this is the shuffle. Uh, and you're going to feel all this for four. How much time do we have? Seven minutes. Yeah, time. Here we go. There it is. I did it. There's eight beats. Eight beats, and each uh, count and four beats to measure. So you just listen to the beats. I'm saying there's the shuffle, and then there's just maintaining of. That's it. I'm maintaining the other two points. Oh, there's some more. There's some more. But we're just going to do the section this time. And I have a big question for you. Are you really? I want you to tell me what time it is. I'm sure you have a sequence of ease. Be mindful. Be mindful of your entire body. So there's a little bit of bending here. And you're still maintaining. So there's two points inside this point. So just this foot is coming off. Imagine the energy coming from the ground, stepping into your feet to this dots in the area. Yeah, I have more for you. Yeah. I'll bring it. I'll bring it. I'll bring it. So this is the this is the shuffle. That's the shuffle. That's it. That's that's the, the beginning step. Now, uh, the next point is called the flow. The flow. The flow is going to involve the hands. Okay. So for the attacker, his uh, hands are going to be. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> hands are going to be on the inside, and yours is. So for the shuffle, the attacker and oh, the defender. Oh, Correct. Yeah. Correct. And, and, and you were up and opposing each other. So you're going to be there and I'm going to be there. And I'm going to be on the inside with my, my palm facing upwards. Palm, the palm facing upwards is sort of like a sabbat way of having a attack. It's, it's kind of like an attack, but it's also a, a friendly way of saying I have nothing in my hand. And we're good to go, and it's sort of like an agreeable way. You're also going to do the same thing. So you're going to marry me with this, with this hand. Um, and it's going to be touching on our forearms. Okay. So our forearms are going to be here, and you're going to keep connection. So just, just so you imagine the connection, I'm going to move this hand, and I want you to keep connection with it. So imagine sticky hands, which are stuck like glue. I go down, and you go down. I go up, you go up. I go to the right, you go to the right. Go this way, I go down, and again. But remember, try not to go to uh, out of your, out of your 13, out of your 13 points of balance. No, no, not a currently right A. So, this is the flow. Now, this is just the start of the flow. But the actual flow movement is going up and down. Up and down. Up and down. We'll do it a little faster. Down. Up and down. Up Zero. Up and down. Up and down. Try this with the other hand. Am I on that side? Yes, you're always you're on the outside for the defender. Yeah, that was very high. Smallest yeah. positive integer. Yeah. 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 That does not occur in the array. Yeah. 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 Charles, both hands. Oh, because zero, one, and two are in the array. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because okay. one, two. See that? So you're maintaining connection. So I'm going to move right. a little erratically. Stay connected. Stay connected. Stay connected. Yeah. Stay connected. Yeah. Stay connected. Yeah. Okay. So if it is. Forearm to forearm, we're staying connected. Is there any intuition to about the selection problem? Yes. Okay. Now, all this while, you're going to be shuffling. Mm -hmm. uh, so first okay. to try yes. Okay. So, um, so, we're going to be maintaining this balance, but we're going to be going back and forth. Down, up, down, up. Okay. 
Okay. So we'll try this a little bit of music real quick and, uh, and see how that how, how that comes up. Also, we had the homework problem where we had to say, well, we know the selection problem. And Remember to keep the, the most fundamental thing, which is the 13 points. The fundamental most thing is what? Give 13 points. 13 points. Be mindful of your body. That's what it's saying. So, let's see if we can go to the range from 1 to 10. Do playing? I'm sorry, 1 to 1 or 1. And we're missing on it. Pump it down if you want, or you can leave it hanging. That's your choice. What do you want to do with your hand? And it's not connected. Okay. So this is just standing. Just you can you can move it back and forth if you want to, or you can just shuffle in place. Either one. As long as you keep balance, that's the most important thing. Okay. Good. You have a good feeling. I like it. Are we doing that time? Good. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. So the next thing is transitioning from this to hands. Okay. So we're going to first go. What I mean by this is from the floral position, from that form to form position. We're going to go from form to form to hand. Okay. So so we form to form with me, and what we're going to do is we're, I'm going to turn my hand inwards. And then there's what you want to do you know, before you return. Right? And then we're going to see if we can transition back, how that works. So I'm going to turn my head and then we back in. Going back in. Right? Okay. And then in terms of doing what you do. And I want you to close your eyes and feel me doing it. So what's your problem with that? That's okay. <laughs> so basically what, what I'm doing is I'm turning my hands inwards and outwards. And that's and pulling it back at the same time. And that's getting to you to your hand. Right, we didn't have to see how I'm making this hand over there. Yeah. Would you call it selection algorithm? Would you say selection algorithm with the five guys? Medium and medium. Medium and medium. Because that's what it is. You're taking a bunch of mediums of the n minus five groups or n divided by five. Right. Right, and the point of that is to get the number that's at the middle of the curve. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So basically, what I'm suggesting is that so we do this. This is the medium and medium. Right. Okay. This is the pivot. Right. And then over here is everything less than that. Okay. So, yeah. Excellent. Okay. That was very nice. That was, that was very nice. Now, the, the very important thing is and then you're not doing it, which is really good. You're not grasping on with your fingers. Usually when dancers are nervous, they tend to grasp. And that can hurt the hands. Um, so it's good that I see you not doing that. So for all of our viewers, that is a bad thing. So don't grasp with your with your hands and also it won't it wouldn't work for the transition. If I'm grasping under your hand, it's gonna be hard to move back to the flow position. So this I would call the open hand position and this would be the flow position. Open hand flow position. Okay? So at the open hand position we're gonna do something uh, pretty interesting. I'm going to give you an projection. Projection comes from where? You're being met. So I'm going to project. Now, when I project, I'm not leaning in and I'm not leaning backwards. I'm just simply projecting by sucking in and expanding my movement. I'm pushing. Okay? When you're pushed, I want you to move backwards. Absorb it. Yes, absorb it. Both. With your, with your datian. Not the movement, because that, the datian is the one that sucks in. So you're going to move back. And what you're going to do is you're going to step back with the left, step back with the right, but not fully step on it. You're going to absorb the energy with your right foot and come back in for a kick. A kick. kick. So, a kick that is just above the ground, not too far up, not too far down. You're keeping your, your, your left leg nicely balanced and bent when you're coming in for the kick. So, I'm going to rewind it again. I give an ex I expand 
yeah. and project into you. Yeah. You're going to move yeah. back first with the left, yeah. then with the right, I think and then kick. Yes. And then just throw it again? You're going to you're gonna kick with that foot, and then you're going to kick with the other foot. Yeah. The way I was going to So you're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Whoa. Okay. Okay. So, so you push to a council. So, I push you to four, five, six. So, I'm going to push you again. All of this is all of it. Push that both and plus one. And then we're going to do the same thing on the opposite foot. So we'll be able to keep this going. Yeah. Wait, so, what, what do you mean? So, so right. I'm going to push you back. That's one facing back. Okay, yeah, yeah. Sure. Right. Okay. okay. Kick with the other foot. Okay. Do you see that? Um, since there are both anti-sync and two, isn't it? Um, no, three. So, the, okay. the, so the object here, when we're kicking, is it's not to kick back toes, but rather the balls of the foot. Um, if we're not going to move them entirely, yeah, yeah. what's exactly. going to happen is we're going to yeah, no. <laughs> okay. kick each other's That's toes, yeah. which will hurt and after a while. Okay. Okay. Right. So our objective is to bring out the foot and out. Bring up one and F1 to fall. We'll maintain a certain balance so I'm not too close to you when we're doing it. But we're in the open hand position in any case. Okay? So I'm projecting it to you. Only oh, you two games. Scan A of one for A of N. You're going straight through. And for each A of I, that's length to less than N plus one. So that's going to be all of them now. Okay. Well, for each A of I. Now, when we're doing this, we're also going to be right, moving around. Less than Sorry. N plus one. So it's going to feel very natural to us. So, uh, so we're still going to try it again. again. Now, we're thinking about the beats also, right? So, Wait, we're going so one, one, two, two three, four. Make it go. Okay, push it. Make it go. You go one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's just to the beat. It's just to the beat. Remember how we, so we're saying, that if you have a beat that is equal to the beat, Right. Let's, start with it. Let's start with the music so and see how it goes. So one, yeah. Assuming we go from 1 to n, he's, they're saying that the, the, the highest value then of what could be the Thank you. 